Hi, boys and girls. This is Unit 14, Week 2, Day 5, and today we will be doing a word talk. So let's begin by building some words. We'll discuss those words, spelling options, and then we will look at some more word of the day cards. So the first word is the word drowning. Drowning. Now, first we need to think about does the word have a base word? It does. The base word is the word drown. So if we tap it out, d, er, ow, n, mm, that could help with our spelling. So I am going to begin by building the word d, er, I hear the ow sound, so I'm going to put a blank tile. Ow. And then I need my suffix, ing. Okay, so I have the word and I see right here the ow sound is in the middle. And when it comes in the middle, I know there are two options. It could be either ow or it could be ou. So you can try out both ways ow. Or OU. So you are going to ask yourself, do I recognize the word? Do one of the options seem familiar? Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't want to guess either. So let's go over to our spelling options. And if I go over here, I'm on the D section already, so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to DR. I know those are the first two letters, E-R-O. Now, I don't see O-U, but I do see O-W, and that's the base word. The base word is drown, and I see it has an O-W. So I'm going to go back in and use the O-W. That is my correct spelling. If we were to mark this word, scoop that base word, circle the suffix, circle the O-W, mark it with a D. That is the correct markup, okay? Now, we are going to do another word. So I'll erase this, and we're going to spell it away. D-R-O-W and suffix I-N-G. The next word, pounded, pounded. What is the base word? Base word is pound. That is the word we will tap out. Let's tap it. P ow, n, d. Okay, now to spell it, P I hear the ow sound, and then I hear a blend. Pound, and I said the word is pounded. So I know the id is the ed, because ed says id, sometimes, right? Okay, so I have a spelling option again. It could be the ou, or it could be ow. Do either of those look familiar to you? Maybe, maybe not, and that's okay. We will check it. So let's look again. This time I'm going to scroll down to my P's. P O P O. And I'm going to go back up to the top. P O U. Look, pound. And here's pounding. Even though mine is pounded, that's okay because I have the base word right here. It's P O U. So I'm going to go back. And that is the correct word, P-O-U-N-D, suffix E-D. So for the markup of this word, it's one syllable, scoop that base word, circle the suffix E-D, and I'm going to circle the O-U, mark it with a D. That is your markup. Okay, now let's take a look at these word of the day cards. 
We will begin by reading each word. You can read with me or be my echo. Greedy, compound, harm, reptile, complain, checked. Okay, now I will ask you some questions. Can you find any of the words with vowel teams? Looking for vowel teams, how many words have vowel teams in them? See how many you can find. Can you find one? Can you find two? Are there possibly three? Well, let's look. So, first word over here, I see a vowel team. I see EE. -E. I'm going to circle the EE. -E -E. That's a vowel team word. And over here, I have OU in compound. That's a vowel team. And let's look. Oh, I see AI. AI is a vowel team. So I have three words with vowel teams. How many words can you find with suffixes? Suffixes. Can you find any? Well, one that jumps out right away is this word right here, checked, right? Checked has the suffix ed. Is there another word with the suffix? There sure is. Greedy has a suffix, the suffix y, because my base word is greed. Greed, greedy. How about a vowel consonant e? Do you see any words with a vowel consonant e? How about reptile? Reptile has that vowel consonant e. It has the i consonant e, right? Reptile. How about that first syllable? What type of syllable is that? Re eh, eh, eh. You hear the E is short, so it gets a breathe and it's closed in, so it would be a C. Okay. And what is the definition of the word harm? Can you think of another word that means the same thing as harm? The word hurt could be the definition of harm to hurt. And harm is an R control. See that R control? We mark it like this. Okay, so that concludes our word talk for today. Remember to always use your spelling options. And if you need to look up words, go ahead and do that. Thanks for staying with me today, boys and girls. See you next time.